Hello and welcome back everybody. Here we are at Volcano Falls, our lovely little zoo. It's coming along quite nicely in case you missed the last couple episodes. I terraformed the hell out of this thing and I think it's looking pretty good compared to the flat little dumpster fire that it was. Yeah, it's, it's coming together. It's not done yet. Nothing's ever done in Planet Zoo. It's always a work in progress it seems, but here we go. I'll give you a five second tour of the place. Yeah, a lot of landscaping and stuff still needs to be doing. I'm, I'm, a, I'm I put down some, some plants. It's looking okay, I guess. But you know, it's got a lot of work to do. Goes all the way back here. Uh, yeah, I, I did the whole, the whole map. So yeah, it's coming along pretty good, I think. I guess you guys can be the judge of that. I think today what we're gonna do is do a llama enclosure right in here. Um, yeah, I think it's going to look pretty good. I want something that the people can walk through. I don't know, Petalama maybe, I guess. I think first I got to move all this stuff here. I guess I can just throw it on the other side of the road here. Oh, of course I can't. Yeah, I'll put it there and then lop some stuff off the end here. Here we go. Uh, there we go. I think I might move this tree here for a moment, too, while we're building fences and such. Oh, let me see. First thing I gotta do, I, I went through and I, I made a I made a zookeeper hut like animal shelter thing. Gotta lay down the path for that, I think. Oops, that one's a little crooked. Yeah, I think if I do like a little H design here, I think that seems like it works the best for this. See if I can get this laid down. It was giving me giving me some hassle earlier. Oh, uh, where? There we go. I gotta dump it out here quick and change a, f a few things. Always, a lot of these blueprints—they're they're hanging off the ground when you uh, when you first put them down. Let's see. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah, that's actually on the ground, so that's nice. All right, let's try to move. Get that tree out of there. Let's hope this goes smooth. I don't really feel like fighting this thing all day. I'll show you. I'll show you this thing once I get it placed down. If I can get the thing placed down. Yeah, there we go. We're getting there now. Yeah, that should do it. Yeah, let's see what we got inside here. Yeah, everything's all hooked up. Nice, nice. Yeah, I got this little backstage area with the uh, new conservation pack. They they added all of this, like, behind-the-scenes stuff that you can put, put down. Got some potatoes and carrots and I don't know what those are. Zucchinis, I guess. Look a little funky for zucchinis, but okay. Then outside, they got wheelbarrows and buckets and garden hoses and stuff. Got this uh, little area here to kind of hide the bedding area. I think that's going to look pretty sharp. I like this design. Yeah, I uploaded this to Steam. If you guys are interested, you can, you can put this in your zoo, too, if you'd like. Or if you think it sucks, then hey, you know, whatever. Everybody's got their own prerogative. See what it looks like from the back. I always like to hide the uh, hide these type of buildings so they're not. Oh, is there something taller I can use? How about this thing here? Yeah, I kind of made it out of corrugated metal just to keep it. Kind of rustic looking. I figure it's a animal shelter. They probably wouldn't make it out of marble. You know what I mean? Oops. 
I haven't got stuck in the trees. Oops. Sorry, I'm all focused on moving these damn bushes around. Let me go inside, make sure none of them are sneaking through the walls and looking stupid. Oh, nice. Nice. That'll do it then. Yeah. That way you can't really see the back of that building too much. Let's check the uh, negativity rating here and make sure it's not... Nah. Very limited uh, negativity on that, so that's good. Pull a little trees on this side here, I think. Like you say, I'm, this is going to be a jungle theme, so I kind of want everything to be really lush and tropical, and I, I think it, I think it looks good that way. I think the jungle theme is probably my my favorite look for a zoo. I don't know. It just seems. I don't know. It just seems. I guess it's probably because I'm not from a, a tropical area. You know, I guess if I was from a tropical area, I'd probably be like, eh, more tropical crap. Oops. Let me... Always gotta paint down some mulch. But yeah, I'm, I'm really liking this little animal shed. Hopefully this is enough for uh, our animals. Looks, I think it will be. All right, I want this this uh, exhibit to be a walkthrough exhibit, so that people can come and let me see. Where's there? It is the guest gate. Want this one over here and another one over here, I think, so they can kind of do a cut through over here and go pet a llama or whatever. I kind of set this one back a little bit because I think I'm gonna do like maybe some guest shops over here or, or something. Then I made this little uh, little fence segment. I'm, I'm gonna do the whole thing in in this, I believe, instead of the barriers that come with it. Now you don't get a whole lot of curve to this. That's fine. It doesn't look like it'd be tall enough to keep a llama in, but I checked it quick before uh, before turning on the game here, and uh, it's it's tall enough. They, they apparently can't escape. Now I haven't checked the babies. I was it was an adult I checked, so we'll see when they have babies. We'll have to see about whether they're escapable or not. Sometimes the babies have different escapabilities. Where are we going with this? I think I'm gonna kind of cut it off. I don't think I want this... I want them messing around back here, so... Yeah, we'll, we'll put it right back to the corner here, I think. Yeah, good enough. The end of the day, it's just a make-believe zoo game. It doesn't have to be dead solid perfect in every way. My dad always said, you don't have to be perfect, you just have to be good enough for the girls you go with. Because they ain't perfect either. Yeah, we're getting close over here. I guess I could. I guess I could have uh, done like a time lapse on this, but I don't think it's going to be that long. I just kind of wanted to. Been doing a lot, of, too many time lapses of late. Just kind of want to do a sit down and play the game for a bit. 
And of course this doesn't line up right. Hmm. Let's undo that quick. We'll come from this way so we can bury the uh bury the odd segment into the into the wall or something, I guess. I think that'll work. It looks a little trashy on the backside, but nobody will ever see that. Let me see. We need a habitat gate at some point over here, too. I think probably in this area over here. I think I'll come out right from the corner here. I don't know what I'm going to do in this little area here. I think I might put like a staff facility over here. We need another training, uh, a staff room. So we'll probably do that over there. Ooh, I forgot. Oh, I'm kind of far out here. Okay, let's... Got my thinking cap on here. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Should have made like a short piece to kind of fill in some of the gaps on this thing. it up instead of sometimes it's hard to click on the right arrow for some reason maybe i'm just stupid or something i don't know yeah, i can rotate that slightly into the wall so it doesn't look as bad or out of the wall let's try that yeah, yeah like you say it's not gonna line up perfect but it it will be fine Yeah, I've only done like one other like walk through uh, zoo habitat. I'm kind of kind of excited. I think they look pretty cool. I think I can just kind of bury it into the uh, cave wall there, and I think that'll be sufficient. Oops, mess that one up. Try that again. Good enough. All right, we're halfway home with the uh, with the fencing. I say I hope this works uh, with uh, the baby llamas, so they're not escaping. Oops. 
Oops, that one got a little cro crooked on me. I'll probably go through after after I'm done streaming, uh, uh, recording this, and uh, maybe tighten this up a little bit. I don't think you guys want to watch me sit here and endlessly fight fence post. So uh, if it looks a little sloppy, I'll probably m make it prettier when you're not watching. I got to do more of a curve here, I think. Like I say, this isn't the curviest fence pieces ever, but I think it looks better than just the crappy ones. The five fences that actually, you know, come with the the habitats. I don't know. I don't I don't find any of them especially pleasing to look at. That one got a little crooked on me. Let's undo that. Yeah, if you guys like like this franchise mode so far, feel free to leave a comment and let me know. I, I kind of always wonder, like, who's watching these videos? Is it people that are playing Planet Zoo? I mean... Is it people trying to learn how to play Planet Zoo? I, I always kind of wondered that. So, yeah, if, if you know, if comment would be appreciated. Yeah, I think I can just bury it right into the wall there. I'm pretty sure they can't escape anywhere else in this habitat. Okay. There we go. Now we will have to actually get a habitat gate over here somewhere. Might have to undo part of this for the for the gate. I'm not sure. Let's see how this goes. That's um, wish I could do it like right here. I don't know why it's come on, click. I think that will work right there. Let me delete this fence piece here. Might have to redo a little bit of fencing here, but I think that'll work. Wrong button. Looking for Z and I hit X on an accident. I think I got to do kind of a zig oop, a zigzag maneuver here to make the pieces line up a little better. Nope, that's not looking very good either. That looks like it's probably... I think we might be getting there. Like I say, I'll probably go back through off camera and make some of this stuff look a little better. But I just wanted to show you how how these kind of homemade fencing systems kind of work. So that should work. There's the habitat. Now I got to put down a null barrier all the way around it. I said a null barrier. Come on now. There we go. Now, as long as this is on the other side of the fence, it should be fine. 
That way it says they're not escaping. Oops, come on. Why is it switching back to that stupid fence? There we go. I can probably just cut right across this this ravine here. Yeah, that'll work. wasn't clicking. Didn't want to click for me. Gotta move this a little bit shorter now. Oh, it's doing the stupid wood thing again. Every time I click off of the null barrier, it goes back to the stupid wood thing. There we go. Almost there. Stay on target. Stay on target. Now I do want them to be able to go in there, so... I think I bring it back through over here. The animals aren't going to go through there anyway. Okay, I think that should do it right there. I think that's looking pretty good. Okay, so we have a gate, we have the habitat, we've got the walk, we got to lay down the people walkways now. Oh, the people paths. Yeah, I haven't decided, I think I'm going to go with uh, these natural looking ones, just the little bitty post ones, I think. I wish you didn't have to have the little markings on the on the walkway. Not really in love with those. Hmm. Where do I want to go with this? I think I got to do a little terrain work here. I think I'm gonna have them go down here, not too close to the to the habitat thing that they're on. The shelter, I guess, in English. I don't know what I was struggling with English language there for a second. Yeah, let's smooth that out a little. Oh, Jesus, I don't need a circle that big. Get a somewhat smooth path going down here. Got to do a little bit more work on this side, I think. This still might be a little too narrow here. I gotta bring you back a little bit. Here we go. There we go. That I think that's probably would work. Will work okay. A little bit of slope is okay. I just don't want them. I don't want it looking too ridiculous. All right, let's see what that gets us. Yeah, I'm still selected to it. Okay. I don't, oh, God, I got one meter. Okay, there we go. That's a little better. Oops, I don't like that one bit. I 
All right, so they have a walkthrough thing, but I think I might have them. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that. Yeah, I think I'm going to come down and like have a little observation platform over the uh, over the little pond there. Where do I want to do that? I think where that tree is there. Move you. Got to do a little got to do a little landscaping here too. Move this out just a little. Oops, that's not right. Well, we can go back to smooth there. There we go. Let's see what that gets us. See if we can build a little bridge here. Geez, not that far. Holy moly. I don't know why it always defaults to being so incredibly tall. Alright, what's going on here? Why is this not working? I can do this. I know I can. Come on, Danny boy. Come on, Dandroid. You got this. It's still going. It's still going up. Okay. Okay. There we go. Maybe I'll just uh, bring it back over to the other side there and just have like a little cut through. Yeah, yeah I think that might be a decent idea. Yeah, I like that. I'm really in love with that little dip there. Let me see if I can fix that. I think I gotta raise up this little piece of land here. I gotta delete a little bit more here. Got a hell of a lump. Lumps are never good. Make sure you're going to your doctor and getting that checked out if you've got a lump. now. That's a little long. There we go. Let's go back to the other one that we were doing. Well, that don't look right. What am I doing here? That looks like crap. Hmm. It should transition. Yeah, let's go back one more, then go down. Higher than that, come on. Yeah, I gotta raise things up a little bit here. Still too low. Uh, 
That looks pretty close there. Come on, let this be the lucky number here. I saw it click there, where was it? Nope, come on now. God, it's so close to level, what in the world? Okay, I'm getting there, I promise I can do this. little path pieces that are causing trouble here. Oh, please be, be there. I swear you, I spend half my damn time in Planet Zoo fighting paths. It just, uh, it, it just sucks. I don't know why it's so damn hard. I really don't. It doesn't need to be. Still too- now it's too damn high. Holy something, I swear to god. Let's try that now. Come on, please, 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 let's do this thing. That looks pretty damn close. If I think if I bring this out just a little bit more. Oh, of course, I can't bring it out because the damn path is in the way now. Oops. Oh, you know what it is? It's the it's the water that's in the way. I'm going over the water so the land is is freaking out. I hate that I hate when it does that. There. I'll drain the water then put the path down. Yeah, that's what it was. It was a stupid water that Oh, this whole time I'm fighting it like a madman and it's just a stupid water getting in the way. Oop, I probably ought to smooth this out just a touch. Yeah, there we go. Now we're getting there, fellas. Ladies, gents, whoever. We're, we're making it happen now. There we go. Alright. So yeah, they can walk all around the... Uh... I'm not sure if the llamas can go across this thing or not. Let's put some water back back in that pond. It looks, it looks so sad like this. There we go. Okay, so we've got the keeper hut, we've got the fencing. Alright, let's throw a llama in here and see, uh, oop, let me, let me add it to the work zone here. There we go. 
I'll probably have to hire another zookeeper and maybe a vet after this, too. Because llama is apparent. I think you can have up to 30 of them, so that's going to be a lot of work for, uh, for our zookeepers. I'm looking for a decent llama for sale. I, I haven't really come across good ones here. I need a decent... Oh, here's a decent... Oh my god, 3500 for just a bronze? Oh, that's borderline criminal. You know what this guy will do? I think this guy's a winner. Apart from that immunity, he looks pretty good. Okay, that's good, because we needed a male. These other two males were... Of poor stock, you might say. I'm just going to put one in first. Just to make sure they can't they can't escape. I don't want to be chasing around multiple llamas. Alright, let's speed things up. Get our llama in here. I think he's coming in over here. Destination inaccessible. Why is it inaccessible? The gate is connected. Huh. Wonder why that is. Did we, uh, did I put the null barrier, like, in the wrong place? Hmm. Sure, I don't think this would have anything to do with it, really. I guess I can move this over. I don't think they have to be able to get into here to actually... Hmm. wonder if it's the wheelbarrow in the way. I can move that easy enough. Oh boy. That's not what I was looking for. Whew. Yeah, I just move. I don't... Yeah, I, I don't see why they would... It would say it can't go in. That doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, they... Is it because they can't use staff paths? For the gate? That's weird. I guess I could just put one over here. Let's see if that does it. Delete one of these and put down a... a gate that over here, I guess. Okay, now it won't let me. Seriously? Oh, is it because I already have one over here? I'll just leave that like that for now. I'll come back and fix it if that's actually the thing that's the problem. Huh. Huh. Well, it'll hook up over here. All right, well, I'll leave it. I'll put it there and move this bush here. Oh, crap. That means I gotta move these things now. I probably got to delete these and try again. Every day in this game is an adventure with these... with the pathing system and all that. It's all... it's all an adventure.
Yeah, I will definitely have to go back after this and rearrange a little, a little bit of this. Okay, let's see if he can drop off the, the llama now. Where was I? Send to Zook, come on. Get in there. Inaccessible again. What the hell is the problem? There's a gate right there. I had a gate over here. What more do you want from me exactly? the problem here is. Yeah, I don't I don't get it. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. This is a hell of a tutorial for you guys as I struggle to accomplish even basic things. I don't see what the difference would be, exactly. I mean, I wonder if these... No, I don't think they're blocking anything. Our llama is in a box over here. I just picked up a bunch of uh, expansions for the thing. Oh, oh, I think we have a llama. Thank Jesus. Oh, that was painful. Okay, now please be a good little llama and don't don't be all escapey. Oh wow! Look at that. No reds. No reds, holy moly. I didn't think it was even possible. They can't go across the uh, the pond, but that'll be alright. They got plenty of room to walk around here. Ooh, I think I gotta move this uh, out of the way here. Want them to have a little bit more move around space in there. I feel like the fencing I put up was more for, uh, like warthogs or something like that. These are a little bigger animals. Here, let's see what that gets us. Yeah, it looks, well, they can lay, well, I guess I gotta take the whole thing down here. I can always move this outside as well, I guess. Let 
Yeah, I'll move that out outside. Oh, he went inside. Hold on. Oh, there he comes back out. That was so cute. Why is that not wanting to wanting to move? Okay, I gotta pause this thing. Things are happening too damn fast. That's the problem with this. Every time you try to do anything, it, it, things move too damn fast. Where's the water thing? There we go. I don't know why the other one wouldn't uh, just snap down. Okay, there we go. Click on her one more time, see what that traversable area is. And not as much as I would like in this room. I don't know what's blocking it exactly. It'll, seems like there should be ma more room back there, but... Is that... Well, it says that's enough. I don't really want to put down more than that. Alright, let's get our other llamas in here and open up the exhibit. I think the people will be pretty excited about this. I would be. It'd be kind of cool to walk around and intermingle with the llamas. Let's see what other... Let's see if we got any better animals on the market. Ooh, we got a... I'll take you, honey. Eh, those aren't very... Those aren't winners. Pretty cool we got, uh... Yeah, we're, did we have one decent male? I thought we had one decent one. Olanta. Olanta, perhaps. I don't know. I'm not very good with the Spanish. Okay. Send all three of them in there, and we will be up and boogieing. Come on, baby. Let the good times roll. Deliver. There we go. One, two. I thought there was... Oh, there, and there's number three. All right. All right, we got a pile of... Oh, oh, and a fourth one. Let's just keep them... Keep the party rolling. All right. All right, they need more short grass. Yeah, you kind of knew that was... That was probably going to take place. Oh wait, I guess they need less short grass. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking there. It does need more short gray. I don't know. I don't know what I was reading that wrong. I'm going to unpause it here and let people start coming back here. I want to see people wandering around in this exhibit before I call it a day. Ah, there we go. I didn't like that little spot of dirt there. All right, let's see what they think about the... Well, they don't like a fair bit of the plants I put in there. Probably get rid of these guys. Yeah, hey, they're walking around. Excellent. Got to get them some enrichment items down quick. Let's see what they like for enrichment. Llama, llama, llama. Okay. Ah, oh, I haven't researched any of it yet. Um, herb scent marker, of course. Rubbing pillar. Scratching trees. 
and all of the feeders. All right, we can do this. Not a problem. Where Where is the enrichment items? What was that? I saw an herb scent marker. Always with the herb scent marker. Leave that by the door here. Pretty sure I saw a barrel feeder over there. Uh, what else was there? The scratching post? Where's that scratching post? Come on. Wait, there was a oh, the ball. They like the grazing ball, if I rec if I remember. Okay. Ah, the rubbing pillar. I know I saw that in there. Gotta and these trees, the scratching trees. This one and this one. Yeah, that should be pretty good. What else? See what else they they had on the list. Small barrel feeder, graze, grazing ball feeder. Did I get the right ones? Grazing ball feeder, but I think this is the large feeder. Yeah, I don't know if it makes a difference, but I'll try to put the one they that it, it says they like. Thought I saw a grab ball too. Let's throw that down. Where's the where's the barrel feeder, the small one? Let's put small. Oh, I'm in the wrong one. There we go. Alrighty, all right. It's all coming together now, guys. It's it's looking good. Hope you, I hope you're ex as excited as I am. This, this is pretty cool. Got our people coming down, taking a walk with the llamas. Ah, that's cool. Ooh, I, I don't know. Should I? I guess I should probably put down trash cans, like, in the area? I'm not really sure. I can't remember if I if I need trash cans inside or just at like the exits. I'll definitely put them at the exits and maybe a couple on the bridge here. Hopefully that'll be enough. I hear him doing the call of the llama, or whatever you want to call that. Uh, that's cool. Oh, they're taking a picture or something. Maybe he's just cleaning his glasses, I don't know. Look at that goofy-looking little kid of his. Good lord, look at the face on that. Not the, the, the this kid back here, good lord. That's a hell of a haircut there. Haircut like that should come with a free bowl of soup. Looks good on him, though. Oh, we got some more people coming on through. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this. I I, 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 uh, I got plans for, I think, um, this area over here. I think since we're going with a South America f uh, 5, I think I'm going to get rid of the camels and turn this into more of a... Uh, a crocodile habitat. I think maybe the caimans? I think they're from South America. I think I might make this into one large habitat. Instead of two smaller ones, now that we've got more money than we know what to do with. But yeah, that's probably that's probably the next one, I think. And then maybe a monkey house, like over in this area here. Also I need to get down need to get down some uh like uh, shops over here, maybe behind this area here, and then eventually work on into this uh, this cave system here. I don't know if you watched the other uh, terraforming videos, but I, I did this whole elaborate cave network here, 
that's uh, we're, we're definitely going to have some fun with that coming up soon. After I get this first part here filled in, I think I'm going to go work on that cave. But yeah, it's coming together pretty well here. Oh, wow. The people are just streaming in. Yeah, do a do a little walk through along with them. How about that? Where are the Oh, I guess they're all up here. Is there any in here? Nope. Not in there. I guess they're all over here playing around. Ah, oh, that's the There they are. Oh, looks like it's Oh, it's getting nighttime. And it's morning. If only the nights were that short. Alright. There you go. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you for stopping and watching. If you did enjoy it, feel free to leave that like, comment, maybe even subscribe. It's all appreciated. But ultimately, hell, I'm just doing this for fun. So I appreciate anything you guys do. But keep watching.